hello guys welcome back to my channel it's another tutorial video with divan Sasuko. so on this video i'm going to show you guys how to even the skin tone and also color grade to pop up the colors so without wasting much time let's just get to it so on this video i'm going to use the solid color to even the skin tone so before getting to your solid color you need to pick the tool the color picker tool then once you pick that you now look for where in the skin that is even so on this picture right here i'll choose this point so it has actually selected the part for me which i'm going to use so after doing that i'll now head to my solid colors then i'll now click on it so it actually displayed this which i have here so i'll just hit ok so after doing that i'll now change the blending mode to soft light so you can now see i'll now click on the soft light then the mask i'll now invert it to black just so i can unveil just the skin so i'll now click or press on my keyboard command i so once i'm done with that i'll now pick a brush tool and make sure the opacity is at 100 the flow at 100 so i'll just start unveiling what's on the mask so make sure you select this so i just start painting you can now see it is being added and it's kind of looking saturated but you shouldn't worry about that we'll correct it so i'll now paint through the areas which i want it to be applied on so i'll now put it on the ear so when doing this you need to take time and make sure it doesn't go out of the skin so you need to be careful while brushing so i'm just going to paint through the area which i want it to be applied on so i'll now come to this part and make sure it doesn't affect any other place so if i notice that it has gone out of the skin i now change this to black and i now brush out so once i'm done i'll change it to white again so I'll just start painting through the areas which i want it to be applied on so while doing this you can take your time so I think it has applied on the black, so I'll just come right here. Then I'll now brush it out. So I'll come back, change it to black. So I'll just brush. And you can see it's kind of looking saturated, but you shouldn't worry about it. We're going to correct it. So I'm done brushing like so uh, once you're done brushing it you can actually reduce your opacity depending on how you want it to be applied so i think 80 is fine so you can see the before and after of it and what next i'm going to do i'm going to get to my curves so i'll click on it then i'll come right here then i'll bring this back a little just so I can add contrast to the picture. So I won't touch this. So once I'm done with this, I'll now click on my selective color. So after clicking on my selective color, I'll now play with the yellow. You can see she's a brown skin. So I'll take this to the side, then I'll add magenta to it a bit. Then I won't add yellow. Then I'll take the black. So once I'm done, I'll now come to the red. I'll now reduce the red to 4. Then I will come to color balance. Then I'll take this to 1. So once I'm done, I'll now come to the brightness and contrast. So why I do come to this point is so I can add contrast to the picture to make it look nice. And so I can pop up the color. So I'll now take this contrast slide to three then i'll add brightness to it just to so once i'm done with this 
I now group everything which I've done so just so I can show you the before and after so you can see the before and after of it so thank you guys for watching this video i really hope it was helpful please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos coming up but for now see you in the next video bye